for it. The U.S. government is wrong. The European governments are wrong. CNN is wrong. All of them have turned these pernicious lies about what's happening into Ethiopia into yet another regime change operation. And we've seen what happened in Libya, the country destroyed and divided. We've seen what's happened in Syria, the country destroyed and divided. We've seen what's happened in Yemen, what's happened in Iraq, the country's destroyed and divided. We've seen how Iran, Cuba, Venezuela have been blockaded, choked, starved to death. This is what they want to do to the nations of the Horn of Africa. Why? Why? What is the crime of Ethiopia? The crime is to seek unity. Yeah. in the Horn of Africa yeah. and to seek unity on the African Thank continent. You. Yes. Thank you. U.S. policy has actually been very consistent mm -hmm. for the last 40 years when it comes to the Horn of Africa. Keep them divided. Yeah. The, 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 they've supported various people at various times. They've had various positions, but they all boil down to one thing. Keep them divided. They recognize, and this is written down, you look at what the U.S. government itself writes yeah. about the world. You can look it up. It's called the National Defense Strategy. And they write in there that the U.S. must control all of the regions in the world. That the most important thing is to prevent any nations. Doesn't matter if you like the U.S. Doesn't matter if you hate the U.S. But anyone who wants to think independently and act independently is a problem and it must be presented, prevented and the $800 billion they spend every year at the Pentagon, that's what it's there for, wow. to prevent people from thinking and acting independently of what the U.S. feels they should be thinking and acting. So the Horn of Africa is now really in the midst of a terrible tragedy, purely because people, not because they hate the United States, and that's what's important to recognize, that that doesn't matter at all. But just wanting to think and to act independent, to lift up your own nation, to develop a nation in a way that will provide dignity for all people, that is a crime. Don't forget that it's not just the Biden administration. It's all of them since Clinton. Yes. It was yes. Trump, Trump yes. who said on a telephone call with two other heads of state that, e that if Egypt should bomb the dam. Yes. So we've seen it from Clinton to Obama to Trump to Biden, the same type of policy. To keep the horn divided, to keep Ethiopia down, to keep Eritrea down, to keep Somalia down, and to make sure people can't live in dignity. Yes. So I am very, very honored to be here to say no more to these types of policies and to say to this government that claims to speak in my name, not in our name will you destroy yet another country. Not on our watch, we won't allow it. Not no in more. our name. Not no in more. Our name.